Oh yeah. Let's talk about how to get around the DFW airport. You know, the Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Let's go. Nineteen seventy three is when they say the DFW airport was built. They say it's the third busiest airport in the world. The DFW airport sits halfway between Dallas and Fort Worth. They say it's the same size as the island of Manhattan. What? Nah, for real though. The DFW airport actually touched four different cities. Touches four different cities. Irvin, Euless, Grapevine, and Capel. That's right. Let's actually talk about entering the DFW airport. You can enter from the north, 635, 114, and from the south, 360 and 183. Those are highways, by the way. To get to any of the terminals in the airport, you have to go through the toll booth. So turn your tolls on, because if you got it off, it ain't gonna work. Now the cost to enter the airport is fairly cheap, a couple of dollars. Depends on your length of stay. Now if you plan on staying multiple days, leaving your car overnight, it's gonna cost you $27 a day. I would suggest parking in the terminal. $27? $27 is nothing when you're spending at least a hundred a week a hundred a week on Starbucks? Come on now, take care of your car, protect your car, because it's Texas. You know, the heat, sun, rain, sleet, snow, we get everything here. Oh my God. Take that in consideration. The DFW airport also have express parking, north and south. It's a little bit cheaper, it's $15 a day. It's not actually in the terminal, but the airport has shuttles that pick you up from the parking spot and bring you into the terminal, $15 a day. But you still have to go through the toll booth to enter Express Parking. Here's the little tip. Pay for your Express Parking online on the DFW Airport website so you can get past all the little complications and confusion and get everything taken care of right then and there. Okay, listen to me very carefully. To get to your terminal, when you're driving through the airport, stay in your left lane. Once you get through the toll booth, hop over to the left because all the exits to the terminals is on the left hand side. I know it's weird, but that's the way it's designed. Currently, the DFW airport have five terminals. Terminal A, Terminal B, Terminal C, Terminal D, Terminal E. In the future, it's going to have six Terminal F that's currently being built. Okay, let's talk about these terminals. How many security checkpoints they have and what airline occupies them? Terminal A has three TSA checkpoints at A12, A21, and A35. American Airlines occupies Terminal B. Has two security checkpoints at B30 and at B9. American Airlines also occupies this terminal. Terminal C has three security checkpoints at C10, C20, and at C30. And American Airlines also occupies this terminal. Terminal D has three checkpoints at D30, D22, and at D18. This is also the international terminal. American Airlines occupies this terminal, Qantas, Japan Air, Emirates, all the major big international airlines occupy this terminal. You also have some smaller airlines like Sun Country that fly out of Terminal B2. 
Terminal E has four security checkpoints. At E8, E16, E18, and E33. In Terminal E, here is where you will find Delta, United, Spirit, Frontier, and American Airlines. If you're wondering how to get from terminal to terminal without a vehicle, you can walk, or you can take the Skylink or the terminal way. But walking only gets you so far, and you only can walk from the secure area. So that means you got to go past security to walk to the other terminals, because you can't do it from the outside. But from the outside, this is how you get from terminal to terminal. Terminal Link. Terminal Link is exactly what it sounds like. It can get you from Terminal A to Terminal E, Terminal E to Terminal C, Terminal C to Terminal B. But the only way to get onto the Terminal Link is to be outside the terminal on the curbside at either end of the terminal. From terminal A, B, C, E, you have to be on the upper level to catch the terminal link. For terminal D, you have to be on the lower level to get on the terminal link. And you have to be standing at the terminal link post. It's going to be an orange sign that reads terminal link. The sky link. It's a train that you can only access once you get past security. Once you go to TSA, look for the signs that read Skylink. It's a platform up in the sky that you can hop on a train and go from terminal to terminal. That easy. If you would like, once you get past security, you can walk from terminal to terminal with the exception of E. That is the only terminal you cannot walk to. If you're hungry and you would like to grab a bite to eat, all of the restaurants are on the secure side past security. The only two restaurants you have not on the secure side that's outside, visible to the public, is what a burger. You have one on the north end and one on the south end of the airport at the Shell stations. Those are the only two restaurants you have available to you while on the public side of the terminal. But I do have some good news. There are vending machines all over the airport, public side and on the secure side. So you can get your peachy rings, you can grab your Coke, get you some Skittles, get you some Fritos, some Cheetos, all out the vending machine if you own it. And some of the vending machines, they actually have like tuna in there, sandwiches, if you want to go that route. Side note, Terminal D has the best restaurants. Just wanted to let you guys know that. But in Terminal A, this is what you have available to you. You have McDonald's, TGI Fridays, Dunkin' Donuts, Einstein Bagels, and plenty more. Terminal B, you have Dunkin' Donuts, Auntie Anne's, McDonald's, Subway, and Panda Express. Terminal C, you have Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, Dickies, Pizza Hut, Auntie Anne's, plenty more. Terminal D, you have Auntie Anne's, Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, Wolfgang Puck, Applebee's, and a bunch of other stuff. Terminal E, you have Chick-fil-A, Wendy's, Whataburger, Dunkin' Donuts, and Auntie Anne's, and some other stuff. Now, let's say you just arrived at the DFW airport, and you're looking for transportation, ground transportation. So, you waiting for your friend to pick you up? Walk outside, on the upper level, in any terminal. It's going to be a green post that says passenger pickup. That's where they will pick you up at. Looking for Uber. Same thing. Walk outside. 
on the upper level, you're going to see a blue post that says ride share. And it will pick you up right there. So make sure that when you request your Uber or Lyft, that you're in the right zone. If you're trying to get a rental car, the rental car bus will pick you up downstairs on the lower level in every terminal. And the bus is going to be purple. And that bus will take you to where all the rental car agencies are. Hotel shuttles are on the lower level. Taxis are on the lower level as well. If you would like to take the DART train to Dallas, that is the Dallas area rapid transit, you have to go to Terminal A at the lower end at the lower level. What I mean by the lower end is where the gates are the lowest. If you would like to take the TRE train to Fort Worth, you have to go to Terminal B at the lower level at the high end. That's where the gates are the highest. There are three hotels on DFW property. One, in Terminal D you have the Grand Hyatt. That hotel is actually inside the terminal near D20, D22. Two, you have the Hyatt Regency. That's in Terminal C, actually across from C19. You have to walk through the parking garage to get to that hotel. Three, you have the Hyatt Place. That's on Rental Car Drive near Whataburger on Rental Car Drive on the south end of the airport. I hope this quick video helps you when traveling through the DFW airport. Project, 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 Project.